Today I'm going to show you how to make some cute Halloween earrings. First you're going to need some resin tape because we will be using UV resin. Just pull off a small piece and cut it off. And what I like to do is take some cardboard or something like that and put it on each edge. That way the tape is actually a lot easier to move around and when you need to move it to your UV light later on you can just pick it up and move it over. I'm using these jumbo popsicle sticks because my bezels, um, the loop on the top of them are not flat with the rest of the resin bezel. So in order to get it flat on the tape, you have to dangle it over the side just like that. Make sure it's right on top of the tape and the popsicle sticks there. And the ovals are the same way. They're not flat either. trying to get it just right so it's hanging over the side there then you want to press firmly to make sure it's all right on that tape because it will leak underneath if you don't have it pushed on there good and then this is the uv resin i like to use i get a big thing of it and you're going to pour it directly in your bezels about halfway full if you don't pour it um, if you pour it more than halfway full, when you put your little metal charms in that we're going to put in, you could overflow the resin and it will make a mess. Here's the cute little charms we'll be using. I got those on Amazon. going to pop the bubbles first so they don't get tra trapped under those charms. I noticed that I hadn't got it full enough. It didn't cover the bottom of the bezel, so I wanted to put a little bit more in there first. And sometimes when the lighter is not enough to pop those bubbles, you need to take a toothpick and bring all those bubbles to the top. They're stuck on the bottom there. So next, I'm going to put the metal charms directly into the resin and move them around and just see what looks best. A lot of times what I'll do is before I even put the resin or the tape or anything in the bezels, just on the table, I'll place the charms in there to see what looks best together. These are little cobwebs. I thought those were cute. And then we have a little haunted house. And since these are um, a pair of earrings, you wanna make sure they match as much as possible. Then I thought this little moon would look good with the haunted house. What's fun about this is you can arrange it however you want. Um, and you can get really creative with what you're putting in these bezels. I'm trying to make it match. It doesn't have to be perfect because they are handmade, but you want to make it match as much as possible. I have the uh, this gold foil, and so what I'm going to do is break it into little pieces, and I thought that that would be cute to add into this cobweb earring. And I know that this is the perfect time to start making your Halloween earrings if you're going to be selling them because... People were already looking for Halloween stuff right now. I'm going to take these to where I sell my stuff in um, the craft mall I'm in. And hopefully people will start noticing. Them. I might even make a little sign like Halloween earrings. So that way they'll know to look for them right there in that little spot. I also plan to make some Halloween keychains and I'll have to make a video for you on what I make with those two. So with the gold foil, 
um, once you get resin on it, it really wants to stick to whatever utensil you're using, like these tweezers. So um, the best thing to do is just to get it in as much resin as possible and it will come off of your tweezers. But break it into little pieces as well. I'm trying to push it all the way into the corner on each corner. Another tip, um, if you're, for instance, using these tweezers, before you set it with a UV light, because I've done this, I've learned from experience, you want to wipe off your tweezers with a paper towel or something first, because once it dries on those tweezers, it's really hard to get off, get them off once it's hardened. So wipe off your tweezers before you get the UV light next to them. Because what I'll do is I'll just put the UV light, like I'll set the tweezers down next to it, and then I'll put the UV light on, and I'll have forgotten to wipe it off and then your tweezers have that hardness on the edge and you can't pick up anything anymore so wipe off your tweezers before you put the uv light on and then these are almost done before you put more resin on you want to do a final check that you know, everything's looking even. And you want the gold flakes to be pushed down into the resin as much as possible because the gold flakes can get really hard and sharp if they're poking out of your earring. And I don't like the sanding or anything because you're in a metal bezel. You don't want to scratch it. Then once you have it all in place, you're going to put the rest of the resin right on top of what you've done while it's still wet. This is all one process. We don't use the UV light until the end. So you're going to be doming it and everything right in this process. You're going to put it slightly, you're going to be slightly more than full to make the doming effect. And you can do it all in one fell swoop. The UV light comes in at the end. You put it about for one minute. And then you can pick it up by those cardboard edges and move it over to your UV light and keep it under there for about four to five minutes to make sure it's nice and hard while you're continuing to work on your other earrings that can be setting up. My UV light has like a 30 second timer and a one minute timer. So what you have to do is to make sure you're continuing to put that light back on. Sometimes I lose track of how many minutes I put it on, but if you put it on more than four or five minutes, it's fine. Now we already put our base layer of UV resin. We're gonna take the Q-tip around to get all the bubbles up, not the Q-tip, the toothpick. And then you're gonna put the lighter on it again to pop all the bubbles. There's one on the edge that didn't want to pop. I found these cute little pumpkins. And there's also a witch's hat, which I thought would be really cute to place directly on top of the pumpkin. And they turned out really adorable. I'm placing them right on the bottom. Then look how cute this turned out. I just put it right over the stem of the pumpkin and it worked out really nicely. Just make sure it's pointed straight up there. Very cute. And for the next one, I'm going to also use the gold foil flakes in this. I'm going to put quite a lot of it right on the bottom and make it kind of look like maybe think of it as like the ground or the dirt is what I was going for.
See how it keeps on wanting to rise up and you have to keep placing it down farther in it. But the good thing with the UV resin is um, when you are doing anything with a lighter substance, it wants to raise up higher in your resin. So if you're doing something that's overnight, it, a lot of times that thing will rise up to the top of your resin. But if you're doing UV resin, you're going to set it immediately. So you can make sure you've got it pushed down. And then once you put that UV light on, it's going to set it really quickly and you don't have to worry about it moving. So that's one of the reasons I like to use UV resin a lot. You can get it exactly how you want it. So I have these little witches with a cauldron and she's stirring in this cauldron. So I thought it'd be fun just to put it right on top of the gold foil flakes. And hopefully some of these ideas give you some inspiration to make your own fun Halloween earrings. I'm covering the bottom just to make it look like it's a part of each other. And once you have that done, you're going to, of course, pour your resin on top of it again, filling it the rest of the way up and slightly overfilling it, but not so much that it's going to go over the edges of the bezel. I love little metal things like this because they go so well in these metal bezels. And that sometimes they're hard to find um, because when you look up like metal charms, they'll actually be like charms with a little metal hoop that you could put on like a, a charm bracelet or something. But these just came just as is and they're perfect to put in these. Pop the, bu the bubbles and now it's under the UV light. We're going to do this process again. Now, I only had one of these upside down, or upside down triangles, so I thought I would just make a necklace out of it because I can't make a pair of earrings. I actually need to order some more of these bezels. I use these for a lot of the earrings I make, so I run out of them pretty quickly. You can get them on Amazon in packs of like 60 or 80, and they come in a lot of different shapes. So when you're looking, just look up metal bezels for resin and you'll come up with a whole lot of different options you can use. And like if you're looking for like the little Halloween charms or any type of charms, you can do metal, um, metal charms for resin or um, if you're doing for Halloween or something specific like Christmas, you could also just add that in your search bar. Okay, we're popping the bubbles and then we're going to do some more assorts, assortments in here. So I'm going to do another one with the, ha the haunted house here. But it's now in the moon shape, which I think is kind of cool. And I also found these cute little bats and I thought that would be cute to go with the haunted house. And I think it looks neat in that crescent shape together. I'm going to make this one match that one. The ones without the gold foil flakes go a lot faster. So um, be prepared when you're using those gold foil flakes. It's going to take you a little longer to arrange those earrings. Then we're going to do another one with the haunted house because I think they're really cute. And then some bats. The tweezers make this process a lot easier because if you're trying to do it with your finger, you'll get resin all over your glove and it just makes a big mess. So the tweezers are very helpful. But you want a good pair because sometimes they don't have a good enough grip. So especially with these metal pieces or something heavier like this, you need a good pair of tweezers to work with. Then this one, I decided just to go ahead and put another cobweb in there. And this is, remember, this is the one for the necklace I'm going to make. So I'm going to go ahead and put some gold foil flakes in there. Probably all along that diagonal side there. 
to fill it up a little bit. There's so many combinations with these charms that you could do with these earrings. I hope that you want to try it out. And if you do, I would love to see some pictures in the comments of the different earrings you've made. And also, if you want, you can also subscribe to the channel because I do a lot of different resin videos and I make tons of different stuff. Try to make sure it's not touching the metal piece in there. Like, put it all the way on the edge if you can. That way it doesn't start looking messy. And the gold foil flakes are pretty forgiving because they will smush together. Just make it look as neat as possible. <laughs> the gold foil flakes are starting to stick all over my tweezers. Because once they hit resin, they get really sticky. But I wanted that line to connect. I want it to go all the way up. And you can see how little tiny pieces of it want to try to escape. So you have to keep pushing it back. And then just make sure it's all even. And if you can, try to make it not touching the edge of the bezel. It just looks neater that way. Then you want to pour the rest of your resin on top once all the bubbles are gone. And do the doming effect again. These are actually pretty easy to do once you get used to using bezels and making. The hardest part probably when I first started out using these was to get all those bubbles out. Because I found that once those bubbles got in there, it just made the piece not look very good. It didn't make it look neat. It didn't make it look professional. So just make sure you're getting those bubbles out and practice doing that. Then once you've done that, a last swipe to get the bubbles out, and you're going to put the UV light on it again. So now I'm going to take these off of the tape because they've already been on there for like four to five minutes or so. Um, and you can test it, but I prefer not to before four or five minutes um, with like just tapping on it. And then on the back, what you'll do is you're going to use alcohol and a Q-tip usually, but I ran out of Q-tips. I need to buy some more. So I'm just going to use this folded piece of paper towel. Get a lot of alcohol on that and then rub the back because what happens is that the tape is really sticky. So you want to get all that sticky residue off the back of those bezels. And also sometimes if you put a lot of good gold foil flakes on there you want to also once you take it off that tape you probably should do a uv light on it for a minute or two because a lot of times that uv light can't get through all that gold foil so on the ones that you have gold foil on it's probably a good idea to take it off the tape flip it over and use a uv light on it but where you'll notice like sometimes you'll even if like my tape is green so you'll even see little pieces of that green tape stuck on there so you need to clean that really good to get all of that off there's a lot of other ways to do it without UV resin tape, but I find it to be the easiest way, so that's what I do. I'm going to show you how I prepare these and package these to sell. So this one is our necklace, and I just put the jump ring on there and put it directly on this cord. Close it up. And shut up the necklace. It looks really cute. And then I use these to put my necklaces on. You just close it up and you staple the top of that and it's ready to sell. Now I'm going to show you how to do the earrings. You take the jump ring and you put it directly in the loop of the earring and then put your earring hook on there and close it up. Just make sure your earring hook is Place the correct way to the front of your bezel. 
Make sure that looks nice and neat and even. Using two pliers is easiest because you'll, your finger will start hurting if you're trying to use your finger, like right here. Using two pliers is easier. You can get sets of all of these earring kits on Amazon. And then I completed all of those and this is what I do to sell them. I just put them on these cardboard earring display cards and I use those little rubber clear backs. I find those to be easiest because I use a lot of earring hooks. And look how cute those turned out. So I've packaged them all and they're ready to sell. I'm super excited to get these into the shop and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel to see a whole bunch more ideas. Thank you.